if yeah. you go on someone's page and they're topless in every single photo, unless their job is a fitness model or that, then I just think it's a bit weird. I'm like, what, who are you showing off for? Like, what yeah. are you doing that for? In my mind, it screams insecurity. And I go, oh, you're doing this because you- Validate. Or trying to get validation. But then the other part of me goes, is that so wrong? Because I post for validation. Yeah. It's not to do with my body, but I post for validation for people to go, oh my gosh, you're so funny. You're so nice. I get along with you. You're relatable. Like that's validation. Mm. So it's, I can see both sides. Yeah. And there's also the element of I'm reclaiming my sexuality that I feel like I had to repress. And yeah. there's all that side of it, which we'll get into it in, in a little bit. But I think the pr the problem that has manifested from this is that, People also people now feel like they have an inalienable right to know about other people's sex lives. We've noticed this, haven't we? As online creators, I since the advent, <sighs> okay, since influencers. Then, if you want well, to I use that, I hate that. that. But I'll tell you why I don't like. No, let me finish my point. <laughs> We've noticed a rise in that since OnlyFans. And again, I'm not saying OnlyFans is bad, but it's this overflow that is bad where since only fans where it's turned regular people into porn stars people now just assume that everyone potentially could be a porn star that's all i can put it down to because the messages that we receive are very different now to how they were five years ago where people feel it's their right to know sexual information about me about you about my friends get it as well where people want to see feet pictures they want to see um, they want to know details about your sex life, top or bottom, how many people have you slept with, da -da 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 -da. how big is your penis, all these different things. And you used to get a bit of that five years ago. I've been doing this 10 years. You used to get a little bit of it, but not much. And now it's happened a lot. And all, that's all I can put it down to is the fact that something like OnlyFans exists and porn stars are no longer like the celebrities of the adult entertainment world. They are everyday Joe people. Joe Bloggs can be a yeah. porn star, make loads of money, and yeah, da 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 da. da. Mm -hmm. Which, if you want to do that, good for you. Yeah, power, but power to you. But don't assume that everyone else wants that. <laughs> yeah, or you as a consumer, yeah. don't presume that ev just because this is Joe Bloggs, who's a normal porn star, yeah, who's his porn star, yeah. is now everybody's a porn star. Pom pom pom. <laughs> <laughs> Demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, do you need? In that case then, because everybody's doing it, do you need to sexualize yourself or like this article said, have an online persona mm. where you do over-sexualize yourself or you do overtly, maybe not over, but overtly sexualize yourself or make your content more of that? Do you have an opinion on it? I certainly have an opinion on it. Oh, well, you go for it. Okay, you? let me wind me up and watch me go. <laughs> I, I think if that's what you want to do, Adver advertise what you want, right? If, if you yeah. want sex and you are on the hunt and that is what you're about and, and you want to do that, then advertise that. Mm -hmm. Pull that on your page, talk about it, let it be a part of, a big part of your personality and who you are, mm -hmm. go for it. But don't then moan that nobody wants to connect with you on a deeper level. <laughs> Because all, if you've all you've got is pictures of your bare ass out on your social media, mm. like I have no sympathy for those people whatsoever. No. Um, and yes, they have feelings and da 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 da. But you, you know, you reflect what you put out into the world. Well, exactly. On my social media, a big shtick is that I'm a professional complainer. I like moaning about things. So when people say to me, "Oh, you're so negative." That gets to me because I go, in my real life, I'm not a negative person. I'm actually quite a positive person, but it's my online persona. But then I don't go, how dare you think that about me, that I'm so negative because mm -hmm. what? Just because I put negative videos online? Well, yeah, <laughs> that's exactly why. Yeah. So don't like do, there must be a phrase. I've, I've got it on the tip of my tongue. Can't remember what it is, but don't like do one thing and expect, like don't do Y and expect X. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, th I think that, You'd like to think that goes without saying, but I sometimes I don't think people put two and two together. Yeah, I don't think they do. <laughs> but you, but do you need to over-sexualize yourself to fit in? No, you shouldn't. No. You should. You shouldn't do. And also, you've got to think about who do you want to fit in with. Do you yeah. want to fit in with these people who are over-sexualizing themselves? They might look nice and be sexy, and mm. but are though like again. 
And yes, you can, I'm sure there's people screaming you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Yeah, and, and you shouldn't. And no, you shouldn't. But also, let's also be real. Yeah, <laughs> like there is an element of that when you either when you're getting to know someone on a friend basis, on a, a personal basis. Also, like, what does it say about you? Mm. Um, you know what what you put out into your digital footprint mm. says things about you. Yeah. Well, like you said, it shouldn't impact your socializing unless that is how you want to socialize so we all know that there's clubs out there where it's a big dark room not a dark room it's a big dark room loud music everyone's topless and they're all partying and that for some people can be very enticing i know at some stage in my life i've gone oh my goal is to get ripped so that i can go to one of those clubs topless and then i when i trace that thought back and i go but why i'm like Oh, I guess just for attention and validation, or I don't know, just to fit in. Just because it. That everybody's was, doing it. But that was my view of that's what everyone's doing. Mm. But as soon as I actually sought other communities or pockets of the gay community, and I was like, oh, these pockets of the gay community don't prioritize having a good body or um, being over sexualized, then it was like, well, no, you don't need it to fit in then. 